G'day guys, you're with Craig Connolly and this is my fishing report for the adventure for the month of October. So we've had huge workups throughout October. Um, you know, lots of bait fish around. The bait fish are sort of spread north of Tiri. You can take a bit of a curve line down here, come down here, come down here, work your way across to Coromandel, stop anywhere across the way and you'll see heaps of bait fish on your sounder. Prolific numbers of bait fish in this year, I guess. The water has been a little bit warmer over winter. I'm not sure if that's added to it or not, but either way, it's led to some really, really intense workups. So, unfortunately, a lot of the workups this year uh, have been focused within the no fishing zone, which is the cable zone over here. So, here is Terry. The cables keep going up here. Uh, been some massive, massive workups in there, and the odd one <laughs> that has been outside of the zone. So, if you go and look at the cables, go a little bit closer. This is what they call the elbow here. And you're not allowed to fish within this area here, I'm showing. But outside here, there's been some fantastic workup. So this was just the other day. It was a smaller one, but there was some amazing fish underneath. Big workups out here. We're just off the, uh, that's the noises there. Beautiful. Lots of dolphins around. Big snapper. No wind. Absolutely perfect. Right, back to the fishing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Some um, pretty good workup action there. And uh, as I say, on that particular day, there was huge workups inside the no fishing zone, thousands of gannets diving, and outside we were lucky enough to get you know a few of those sort of workups as well. Now, where else have the workups been? Uh, this zone up here off Fantail Bay has been incredible. In October, around about this area here, uh, the workups here have been really, really good. If we come down, ooh, didn't want to do that. If we come down a little bit further um, off what they call the Happy Jack. So, you know, if you come down to these areas here, have a look around here, look around here, look around here. Incredible workup action there as well. And if we come out to just the, what they call the middle zone, which is around the 42 meter mark here, that's Gannet Rock, out about five nautical miles. Also, great workup action there. So, what's been working? Um, I've been using these, the 135 gram Lumo Kabura. Now, Kabura lures are the ones that slide up and down the fluorocarbon, and I've been using either red or pink skirts. Been working a treat, and the reason I've gone so heavy is just to get away from the car wire. I'm finding the 80 gram uh, just a little bit light, end up, you know, getting too many car wire on it gets, gets a little bit annoying. And what else has been working uh, on the days where the fishing has been a bit tough? Um, then my colleague has been using uh, the Nitro Elevator Jig Heads with a 4 ounce. He had a squiddly legged looking thing on that particular day, New Penny I think it was called, and did very well with a 12 pound snapper on that one. So it was lovely as well. Um, what else has been going on? Moon phase, we're into the new moon currently, that's 20th October today. New moon, we've got a full moon on the 4th of November, and of course the next new moon is the 19th of November. New moon is my favourite fishing time, and that sort of correlates with what fishing.net.nz are saying on their fishing uh, bite times. If we just scroll down a bit there, uh, excellent and good, that's what they're showing for today and tomorrow, because it's the new moon. So some excellent fishing to be had. Now, other news is, uh, you'll know I normally do reports for MWM Dry Stack. Uh, as from the 1st of November, that business has been sold and will be branded as Tamaki Marine Park. Um, the dry stack is filling up very, very rapidly now. So if you're interested in dry stacking your boat with a very, very good company who look after your boat, then this um, you'd get in pretty quickly now. It's starting to fill up really, really quickly with the warmer weather. Um, the other thing is that the business will be rebranded as from the 1st of November. So currently it's MWM. As at the 1st of November, it's going to be called Tamaki Marine Park. There's some really exciting developments planned for that whole facility. Uh, can't say too much now. All I can say is watch this space. There's some exciting stuff going on down there. So that's all from me. Um, hope you're enjoying your fishing. Hope you're getting out there. And thanks for watching. Great stuff. Cheers. Bye.